Hi everyone, and what you see before you is the third experiment of High Technics Experimenters Kit. And you see that the LEDs in front of you are flashing on and off in proportion to the amount of sound that is being spoken. And that's being detected right up here uh, by this microphone which comes with the Lagos Mindstorms Kit. This particular project is more or less the same as uh, experiment number two, except that we are getting the input data from a different source. If you recall from experiment number two, what we were doing in that particular experiment is we had a potentiometer, which is right here, and the potentiometer can be thought of as like a variable resistor and we were sensing the amount of current across the potentiometer that was re determining a value in the analog input that analog input was being read by the NXT here and then a value was being sent back from the NXT to an output register which then determined the amount of uh, LEDs, of the six LEDs, which should be lit. And the particular, or particular circuit that we're using right now is actually no different than the one that we were using before. The potentiometer is in fact not used at all, and the potentiometer could actually be removed from this and the circuit would work just as well but I wanted to demonstrate that the two experiments are very similar indeed. So what's really going on here is that we have up here the uh, source of, uh, of measurement through sound, this microphone, and it is connected through sensor port number two and then connected to sensor port number one over here is the NX, or pardon me, is the High Technic uh, Experimenters Kit, which is running these LEDs. So what's really happening is that this sensor here is sending a value between 0 and 100 in proportion to the number of decibels of sound. That information is being read by the NXT the NXT then takes that value and translates it into a number that represents the number of LEDs that should be lit. The value is sent down this cable as it were. That particular value is then stored in the chip which in turn causes the lights to light up. So while this experiment is similar to experiment number two, you can see that you get a very different and very dramatic effect. I'm going to put my code up on my blog as I did for experiment number one and experiment number two and I'll make a link on my blog site so that you can get at that code. Remember that one of the, my principal reasons for doing this is to show that even though the High Technic kit is written in uh, robot C, NXTC, and NXTG. In fact, this particular kit is perfectly suited for those who want to program the NXT, <coughs> excuse me, the NXT in uh, Laos, which is actually Java. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I answer all queries that come to me. Um, please leave uh, a comment on my blog and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Before we, I go, let me just shut this down. I'm going to press the escape key and that turns the program off and once the program is off you can see that the LEDs are no longer going on and off. There is one last light here indicating that the board is receiving a source of power and once I turn the NXT itself off that light itself goes off. Happy computing to all of you and I'll see you next time 
with the results of my next experiment. Goodbye.